are happening. All right. So if I'm looking at this, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little positive or negative next to the uh, next to the graph, so I can identify what the slope is. So from here to here, from one to two, the slope is negative. Do you guys agree? From here to here, the slope is also negative. Notice, though, how it's a different slope. OK? That's kind of important. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do kind of each every interval here. So we have from 0 to 1, negative. From 1 to 2, it's negative. From 2 to 3, it's negative. From 3 to 4, it's positive. Oh, I'm sorry, 3 to 21.5. From 21.5 to there, it's going to be 0. Uh, or sorry, it's still positive. And there the slope is 0, so it's just going to be, um, it's not positive, it's 0, positive or negative. All right, so to identify if something is increasing. So what we're going to be looking for is when is the graph going to be, um, when is the graph have a positive and, when is the graph positive and have a increasing slope? Right? Would you guys agree that's positive? Positive slope and it's positive. Correct? OK. So what we want to do is say, since since uh, v sub t is greater than 0, now, should I, say a, should I say a sub t is greater than 0? Should I say the acceleration is greater than 0? No. Just shake your head. Do not refer to acceleration. This is the velocity graph. Okay? So what you could say is you could say since v sub t is greater than 0 and the slope of v sub t right, is increasing, do you guys see how that makes sense? You can talk about the slope. But talk about the slope. Don't talk about the acceleration. Okay? And since the slope is increasing on the interval 3, comma, um, I'm s 3 to 5, no, I'm sorry, what am I doing? 21, 21 fifths to 5, the particle is is uh, um, the speed is increasing. You could, but we want to talk about speed. You could say the speed of the particle is increasing. OK? So let's figure out the other time when it would be increasing. That's when it's a negative and a negative, right? So we can see that it's negative from 1 to 2 and to 2 to 6. Now, should I, should I just save myself some time and go from 1 to 3? I'm sorry. The interval from 1 to 3, they're both negative and negative, right? Why do I not want to include time interval 2? Let me ask you this question. At time interval 2, is the, is, the, uh, is the slope, I'm sorry, let's think about acceleration. At time interval 2, is acceleration decreasing? Can you take the derivative of the velocity function at time interval 2 to find the acceleration? Can you take the derivative at that point? Is it smooth and curvy? No, it's a, it's a sharp edge, right? It's a corner. Can't take sharp edges, don't work. So therefore, um, even though it's not like a velocity sharp turn, but no, we don't want to include that because at 2, we don't know what the slope this We can't determine that the slope is decreasing. But anyways, what we could say for this is since v sub t is less than 0, and the slope is decreasing on the interval uh, 1 to 2, union 2 to 3, the speed is decreasing. So I really want to present this to you because I do not want you to say, hey, the speed is increasing and decreasing on these intervals because the signs are the same. OK, yes I, yes, I know what you're kind of referring to. 
but guys, that's not the justification that they're looking for or I'm going to be looking for, okay? So you just don't say, oh, speed, speed and acceleration are the same on these intervals. Okay, even if you get the intervals correct, that's good. But again, what I say, the math in here is not the hard point. The hard part is making sure you guys are writing out these justifications correctly. And yes, we do need to do them separately if on each interval. Uh, let's go and look at when is the particle decreasing. And so it's decreasing when it's going to be negative and positive and is and or it's going to be negative and uh, positive. So you could say since v sub t is greater than 0 and the slope is decreasing, So when is the velocity positive and the slope is decreasing? From 0 to 1, right? On 0 to 1, we could say the speed, this was supposed to be increasing, right? Mm -hmm. Nobody corrected me on that. The speed is decreasing. And then is there any other points where we have maybe the velocity is negative, but the speed, but the um, slope is increasing. Yep, from three to twenty-one point five, right? Since v sub t is less than zero, and the slope is increasing on three to twenty-one over five, the speed is decreasing. Whew.